This iTransfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. What is plasma? Blood may look red, but in actual fact it is composed of cells suspended in straw-coloured liquid called plasma. Plasma is a watery superproteins. It can be separated and used for many different medical applications. How do we obtain plasma? Plasma is obtained from donors by two different processes, either by whole blood collection or plasmapheresis. It can then be used as fresh frozen plasma for replacing clotting factors. However, the majority of plasma donations are used to make products derived from plasma fractionation. Why is plasma fractionated? Plasma contains thousands of different proteins, but only about 20 of these are used to produce therapeutic plasma products. These products are divided into three main categories. Immunoglobulins used to enhance immune response, clotting factors used to treat haemophilia and other bleeding disorders, and albumin used to treat fluid loss or supplement low albumin levels. How is plasma fractionated? We owe the science of plasma fractionation to American chemist Dr. Edwin Cohn, who discovered in the 1940s that the proteins could be selectively extracted from plasma if it is at just the right combination of temperature, pH, ethanol and salt concentration. By adjusting all of these factors, Cohn found he could purify immunoglobulin and albumin fractions. This proved to be a great substitute for plasma in World War II. A modified version of Cohn's method is what we use today. Where is plasma fractionated? Frozen plasma is tracked and air freighted on a weekly basis from all over Australia to CSL Bioplasma located in Melbourne. In 2008-2009 financial year, Australians donated 390 tonnes of plasma for fractionation. How is Australian plasma fractionated? CSL Bioplasma uses a method known as chromatography. Plasma passes through stainless steel cylinders called columns with absorbent material that binds the required proteins. The plasma derivatives are then specifically removed from the columns in a purified form. How is the safety of the plasma ensured? Safety of the plasma product is of the utmost importance, which is why each unit of plasma is tested by the Australian Red Cross Blood Service for bloodborne viruses and tested again when it reaches CSL Bioplasma. Thousands of individual donations are thawed and pulled to begin making each batch of plasma product. There are also dedicated virus inactivation procedures performed on each batch. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.